So the next bit is retraction uh, settings. So my understanding of how retraction works is if this is the nozzle, as the nozzle has, it prints its line, and then as it gets to the end of a line, it needs to move over to, you know, another edge. Say if you've got this example, it prints this bit, it goes over here, and it jumps over here. You've got this gap. Now, what can happen is because the f filament is under high temperature, it can ooze a little bit. And that's where you get this little bit of stringing. And you can see it's happened on this one. Um, so what retraction does is the extruder dial, so at the back of the machine on the end of five, that you can see is pushing the filament line up through the Bowden tubing into the, the hot end. What it actually does is it goes backwards slightly and pulls the filament back up. So hopefully you don't get that stringing effect, but you have to dial it in because sometimes if you pull it up too much, you could end up finding that you're getting filament cooling up here and then clogging the machine um, but you want it just enough so hopefully you don't get too much stringing and you know it just looks like a mess so that's where it comes in handy and I would do this next in the steps uh, of setting up I don't know if people have got better ideas but I just thought it seemed logical so I go to my extensions I go to my auto towers and I did for both the printers actually um, retraction distance so interestingly the preset on Cura is six and a half uh, millimeters maybe <laughs> uh, I can't remember the uh, the value but six and a half and the, the way you can check it is if you search in here retraction and then it will show you so enable retraction and then 6.5 and then retraction speed um, they were actually just the presets the speed um, and funnily enough, after doing all this testing on the machine, I found out the presets for this particular thing were fine, so I kept them at it. But yours may be different. Um, so, yeah, I did a retraction tower for one to six, put it in, you know, I on this one I changed my temperature to 220. So, went in here, search temp, and then change my printing temperature to 220, bill plate is 60. I just, it seems to work. I don't have an issue with the prints not sticking. Um, if there's noise in the background, I've got two printers printing either side of me. Um, so for when that went printing, at now the new established ideal temperature of 220 degrees, this was the first one that came out for the end of five. Um, so retraction speed one, two, three, four, five, six. Around six, it stopped getting this horrible stringing effect. So then I did another tower, and there is one in the extensions that goes from four to nine. So here we go, we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so I decided, because I wasn't getting a huge amount of stringing at six and seven, <clears throat> Again, you don't want to go too high because you could end up with problems with clogging. I mean, yeah, you could pull the, the filament all the way up out of the way, but remember, it's going to get cold, um, and therefore you'll have a string of filament that will just block everything else, and you'll get all sorts of problems. So only do it to just where it's starting to come out right. And I've gone for six and a half because I was like, oh, nice little happy medium between the two. And actually, that was what the presets were. Interestingly, um, in comparison on the CR5, this was the, the temperature testing. Didn't really like any temperature change above a certain amount. It seemed to have a sweet spot of uh, 215, so that's where I stuck it. And then on the retraction test, uh, it's a bit, bit crap all over, but I chose to go for... What did I put it at? Uh, retraction of 8. So I went quite high up, um, and I have heard that some people say that's too much, but look how much SpaghettiOs I'm getting. There's probably something else going on with that machine, why that's still stringing a lot, but I don't care. You can just get a, a little lighter and zip them off afterwards, as long as the print comes out all right. So the next bit we're going to move on to is print speed.